Hello everyone. This year I decided to get my do my muddy gold. Sorry for the background noise, car noise. Now this year I decided to do my scarlet red marigold instead of bringing it up in a small sitting tray I decided I'm gonna just bung them all in this um, large growing pot okay and as you can see they're just coming along nice and steady uh, I did have an issue with the squirrel there was a lot of foxes hanging about and squirrels coming along and trying to dig it up so uh, what I've done I used a, a net which I I can get hold of I just covered it up with the netting when you please for to grow peas spread the netting up yeah and I just left it so that way we I'll deter the foxes coming in the town foxes here yeah, this tub I got some lovely flowering um, trying to get the name now hold on Rodandro. Yeah, Rodandro. Beautiful pink flower. Absolutely breathtaking, as you can see. This uh, plant, I, I think, has been here with us for about a good 10 years old, or probably even more. Fantastic plant. As you can see, the lovely flowers. Beautiful, lovely flower there. Yeah, in fact, we have a bumblebee. Hold on, let me get, get a shot at this bee. Wow. Why did it disappear? Uh, let me chase it. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. That's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Now, if we come close this side. Right, just, just taking on the nectar and pollinating the flowers. So, on this side. Birds of flowers started appearing on the hydrangea. This plant is about three, about two years old. Because I tend to trim it and prune it and do all that kind of stuff. So I'll do a bit more video when the flower grows. Again, I got a couple of more hydrangeas. Yeah, and a small few geraniums on the scarlet red. So this again, we are in the cent dead centre of London, and this is our front garden, and. I always like to plant a few plants in the front. I hope you liked this video and all of my videos. Please click like and subscribe button. Make sure you comment on those videos. And uh, hopefully I will do a few more. Look at the way he's taking, taking the nectar from the... Taking all this... Okay, once again, 
thank you so much for watching this video and all of my other videos please make sure you click like and subscribe button thank you so much hi there everyone a quick update how my um, marigolds are doing last video I did was on the 14th of um, May as you can see it's about two weeks and these marigolds are nicely growing in size and within within the marigolds I've planted some sunflower seeds so these are sunflower you can see them sunflower and hopefully the sunflower will be these are large sunflowers and once they start getting bigger and start flowering will be keep you new I'll keep the update going so as you can see now some cases these marigolds are sort of squashed together here you can thin them if you want but I don't think I I'm going to just keep them as they are I just want a, a glorious display of flowers that's the purpose of it I could have easily just um, pitched them and replant them again, but I thought I'd just leave it as they are. Let's see how they get on. And I will keep on updating you future videos on how my medicals are doing, plus the sunflower. Thank you for watching this video and all of my other videos please make sure to click on like and subscribe button and make sure you keep on watching these videos thank you so much